this county that I'm in, uh, yesterday, uh, parts of it got more than 10 inches of rain in about an hour and a half. Uh, we got lucky here. We only had uh, about five and a half to six in the same time period. And I managed to, it was just enough that the, I got floor drains. It was just enough that the tile backed up to just put the water out of the drain and onto the floor. So I had little bitty rivers all over, all over this floor. They weren't very deep, weren't very deep, but uh, it was still enough to make everything that I had laid out here uh, wet. But that was a good drill. This was the room that had all those soda bottles in it and I used the rainwater to um, get the sugar off the floor. Yeah, it worked good for that. So I guess it wasn't all that bad. I went and did some work on work on the walking stick. I laced up laced up some leather up on top for a handhold. Replace the leather with get some better light. Replace the leather with uh, um, bank line and drop line, and put enough on there so that there's extra cordage. Um, This uh, piece down here was the first piece of leather that I cut. It was the one I showed in the last, the last video. Uh, I was, I was gonna put it up here, and then realize that it was cut just a little bit. Um, it was cut just a little bit on the small side. I, uh, I added a layer of uh, inner tube uh, underneath of it for um, shock protection in case this handle takes a, takes a bump or a knock um, the the rubber will will provide that much that much more protection uh, down here the leather was the leather was too big for that area so I, I put a layer of inner tube down and it was still it was still too big, so I threw in a, another layer onto it. So there's two layers of inner tube underneath that leather, um, which will be um, a really good fire starter if uh, if required. Uh, there, both of the links, all three of these links are. Um, I split the inner tube right down the middle. And then, and then wrapped it in a spiral um, around there, so it's all in one piece. It would make a a good slingshot if it came to that. I really don't really don't anticipate being that far into the uh, into the timber to um, to really need anything more than a knife or maybe a little bit of cordage. But uh, there's. There's probably, uh, I didn't measure it, there's probably 30, 30 to 50 feet of number th number 36 bank line here. Um, I laced all of this up with number 36 bank line. Uh, this down here is uh, number 18 uh, drop line. Um, this, this smaller stuff is rated at 100 and 118 pounds test and this up here is um, 236 I believe but it all worked out really good I uh, 
I found out by using this stick for a little bit out in the backyard that if you have the stick at an angle at any time this knife wants to fall to the downhill side so that's why I laced this top handle um, opposite of where the knife is and then if you look if you look along this stick here this makes a bend right there and that's exactly where your hand wants to fit for somebody somebody that's my height um, your arm arm is just a little bit just a little bit lower than elbow height when you're walking so it's it's a really comfortable height so yeah I'm uh, I'm satisfied with this right here the compasses will be here uh, Tuesday but I plan on taking this tomorrow Sunday and that's my outdoor day re outdoor recreation day so I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go back to the same spot and do some hiking out there and um, I'll take the stick along and the camera and we'll show how this how this works out I'm pretty happy with it so far you can bounce it you can bounce it you can bang it and the knife doesn't go anywhere um, I stuck the second second wood handled um, ferro rod I stuck it in that rubber band around it um, just for a place to put it I've got I've got my I don't know if it'll focus <laughs> kinda dark spin around I got uh, the case um, or the Schrade, Schrade sheath it's got a it has a ferro rod on one side it's all set up and the, the Leatherman uh, multi-tool, it's got another one on the opposite side. So both of those will be on my, uh, um, on my belt when I'm walking too. So I'll have four, four ferro rods. I think that'll be enough for a Sunday afternoon walk in the woods. I hope. I hope I don't use up four ferro rods. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's going to be zombies down there or something. All right, I wanted to show this and the cleanup. Um, everything is uh, everything's pretty much dry. Um, floor got damp. It didn't get uh, um, it didn't get actually wet. Uh, the big flood that we had, I had water. I had water up to this line, and that uh, that truly sucked. That's why you see the. Why you see the wallpaper over here is spotty. Wallpaper back there is looking kind of ugly too. But it dried up. It dried up, and I uh, uh, it managed to stay stuck, so I left it there. All right, we're uh, we're out of here. Door door works pretty good to hang a sleeping bag on, let it dry out. That's an old, that's an old painting that I, uh, actually it's a print, but it's, uh, it's from a, uh, yard sale a long time ago. I think I paid a quarter for it back in the middle 1970s but I liked it so I bought it alright we're uh, we're gone